Welcome to the 2018-19 academic year at the University of Northern Iowa. It's a pleasure to have all of you here. Yeah, it's a big deal. Great, getting it going. I've had a chance to talk to our freshmen, our, our new students, trans, new transfer students. They're very excited to be here. We had a great day over in the dome and in the McLeod Center as we took their picture formed up in the shape of Iowa, of course, left the seal in the middle. It's a, a great picture. If you haven't seen it yet, they're excited to be here. New students are coming back. This is, for everybody I've talked to, one of our very favorite times of the year to be on a college campus as the students return, and we start to feel that excitement of having the campus again, as many of us say, as it should be, with students here and, and getting engaged. There's one thing that's uh, bothering me just a little bit about this freshman class. This is the last class for which participants coming in as freshmen some of which will have been born in a year that starts with a 19. Yeah. <laughs> I remember as a kid their age trying to figure out exactly how old I was going to be in 2000, and it scared me. And now to have kids that were born in 2000 coming to our campus, that really <laughs> terrifies me. It means I'm way too old. But they bring an enthusiasm and an excitement that keeps all of us young at heart and feeling much like they do, and it's one of the things that's really, really great about being on a college campus. We do think and, and learn from them and feel like them, and we continue to be very, very young at heart because of that. So to all of you, welcome. It's great to have you here. We have some other new people with us. I'd like to ask anybody that has joined the University of Northern Iowa since last year at this time to please stand. New faculty members, new staff members, if you're with us, would you please stand? I know you, yeah, welcome. It's great to have you with us. I hope you all find a mentor on this campus, someone that can help you understand what this culture means, but I also want to thank you for bringing your culture with you. The things that you bring to this campus will change us, maybe in a small way, maybe in a big way, but it will ultimately make us better. Help us continue to focus on our real, most important mission, and that's the success of our students. And I'll be talking about that quite a little bit today the success of our students. I often say that we are not a student-centered organization, and many people kind of wrinkle their faces up. We instead are an organization focused on the success of our students, and there is a very, very big difference. We are here to set the bar high and to help students get over that bar, to make sure they get over it, whether we're faculty members or staff members, it doesn't matter. It's about the success of our students. It's not simply about passing them along and getting them to a degree that doesn't have any meaning to it. It's about getting them to a degree that has a lot of meaning to it. And that bar is set high not because we want to filter some out, but because we want the students to be successful in their professional goals. And that only happens if they've been successful in meeting educational goals of the highest standard. That's what our faculty and our staff are dedicated to, and it is what has really drawn me to this institution. And I know is what has drawn many of you to this institution as well. So new faculty and staff, thank you for joining us. Welcome to a great institution. We want to learn from you. We know you're going to learn from us as well, so welcome. With that, I'd like to introduce our new shared governance leaders. It turns out that all of our shared governance leaders are new this year, um, not necessarily new to their positions. They've been in them maybe, but at least weren't in them last year. Shared governance is extremely important on this campus. We involve everyone in decision making and, and in how we go about organizing our university. And so this year, um, Amy Peterson will be serving as our uh, president of the Faculty Senate. She is an associate professor um, of special education in the College of Education. We have Barbara Cutter that I know is here. Amy's here. Barbara Cutter is way back over there. She will be serving as the chair of the faculty um, Barb is an associate professor of history in the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. And Becky Haubacher will, Baker will be serving as the president of United Faculty. Becky's an instructor of teaching in the College of Education. And Susan, Shelley Hill, excuse me, will be the president of AFSME. Shelley is a clerk three in residence administration. Shelley, Becky's here. I saw Becky. I haven't seen Shelley. I know a couple said they had obligations and weren't going to be able to be here. And then Christina Gawecki will be president of the PS Council, 
And um, Christina is um, the Assistant Director of Business Operations. Christina, I didn't see Christina come in. Is Christina here? Didn't see her at the moment, okay. I uh, also wanna introduce Drew Stensland, our president of NISG, our Student Government Association. Saying, right, why don't you stand up, because we all gotta get to know the new student body president. And uh, um, sitting next to him is Kristen Ahart, his vice president um, as well. So it's good to have both of them here with us today. Had a, they're going to have a tremendous impact on our campus. They've got several projects that they're moving forward already and working with all of us on some really cool projects and helping us get students on various committees. I also want to thank those people that were in these positions last year. Uh, this is a big lift. There's a lot of time, a lot of commitment, sometimes uh, the work isn't easy at all, depending on the position you're in, and almost all of these, there are difficult times. And so, to those that have held those positions, let's see if I can get them all right. Past faculty senate chair was Michael Walter that was here, I saw him around. Uh, past chair of the faculty, Tim Kidd. United uh, faculty president, Joe Gorton. Um, president of AFSME was Sue Baker, Susie Baker. Uh, president of PNS Council, J.C. Last, and our former president of NISG, Jamal White. To all of you, thank you very much for the commitment of your time to this university. We have some, we often say new faces around, but many of these are not new faces, they're just faces in new places on our campus. I'd like to introduce those to you. First of all, Jennifer Waldron will be serving as the Associate Vice President for Research and Innovation and the Dean of the Graduate College. Jennifer's uh, been on campus since 2003. She is in the Department of uh, Physical Education and Kinesiology. She uh, got a uh, master's degree from Bowling Green State University in Kinesiology, her PhD from Michigan State University in Developmental Kinesiology. She served in several roles on, on important committees in the Graduate College, working with graduate students in particular, including the Women and Gender Studies graduate program, and uh, we're delighted to have her stepping into this role. Um, is Jennifer here? I didn't see her walk in. Jennifer? She's the one that, yeah, she's got a graduate program going on right now. She's also our, our Institutional Representative Board, excuse me, Institutional Research Board Chair. Serving as our Dean of Students is Allison Raffanella. Allison? She's here somewhere. Right over there, yeah, Allison, thank you. Allison has been the associate dean, assistant dean of students for some time. She joined the university in 2014. Uh, her undergraduate degree is uh, from Indiana University and a master's degree from Ball State. Uh, undergraduate degree in journalism, master's degree is in student um, affairs, administration, and higher education. Uh, Catherine Martin, a longtime member of this university. Catherine, are you here? Yeah, she's right back there. Probably everybody on campus knows Catherine. <laughs> Catherine is serving as the interim dean of the library. Uh, Catherine joined the university in 1982 um, and received her AB degree from Rutgers in history uh, and two master's degrees from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. One of those, of course, in library science and the other one in American history. And finally, I'd like to introduce Aaron Klingingsmith. I know he's here sitting right over there. Aaron is a new face. Aaron is a new face to everyone in the room except my wife Cheryl and I. Um, Aaron is coming in as our interim director of university relations and communications. Uh, Aaron served as the director of university relations and communication at Montana State University in Billings. If that sounds familiar, that's where I was last. And yes, we worked together for quite a little bit there. Um, as we had a position open in interim director, Aaron was available and he's willing to work with us for a little bit until we can get our full-time director in place. Aaron isn't willing to be with us long-term. His wife has a really great job down in Phoenix. He loves what we're doing, kind of wishes he could stay. He's seen so many great things going on here. He'd love to be a part of it. Um, but he has other commitments to the Southwest that involve some nieces and nephews and things of that sort, as well as a wife. So we're not gonna try to bust that up at all. But Aaron, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you working with us at this time. 